Incidentally, I have a corn and stone sour concert to go to on July 30th that is severely going to cut into my reading time. I love books, but I love Corey Taylor more. So Corey Taylor wins over books, but it's, it's it, Corey Taylor is certainly not going to be helping me reach my book two bathon goals. Just saying. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to walk you through my 2017 book Tubathon TBR. So I will leave the link to the book Tubathon channel down below. Please check it out if you think you might want to participate. This year's book Tubathon runs from July 24th to July 30th and it looks to be a really fun event. Okay, there are seven challenges involved in the book Tubathon and each book in my TBR is meant to fulfill one of those challenges. The first challenge is to read a book with a person on the cover and for that I've chosen Hundreds by Pepper Winters. This is a series that I started a while ago and Hundreds is the third book. Uh, the first was Pennies, the second was Dollars, this one's Hundreds and I believe it's going all the way to Millions though thousands and millions have yet to be released. This is a very, 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 very dark romance series. So there's been parts of it that have been very tough to read. It deals a lot with human trafficking and women sold into slavery, basically. So yeah, that should be a real uplifting part of booktube. The second challenge is to read a hyped book. And I have heard about this from almost everybody on booktube. And that is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I've sought out some information on it because it does seem like a book that I would really enjoy. Um, but I, I, I did pick up a copy um, through Book of the Month and I've just been hanging on to it and so I think I'm ready. I think it's going to be my hyped book for Book Tubathon. Um, hundreds it was 300 pages. Ready Player One is 370-ish pages. 372 pages that information is going to become key and I will explain why in a minute. Uh, question number three is to finish a book in one day and for that I'm going to do Fight Club. I'm picking this one because it's short. 217 pages. Two because I'm already very familiar with the story obviously having seen the movie. I do expect the book to be somewhat different, but it won't be like, what? What's going on? I probably won't have to reread parts because I'm lost. Um, so I expect this to be a pretty quick read for me, and if so, hopefully a day <laughs> or less. This next book is going to fulfill two of the book Tubathon challenges. Challenge number four is to read a character very, read about a character very different from you. And then challenge number six is to read a book that you bought because of the cover. I totally bought that night because of the cover. It's this water and the cover is very glossy and it looks very, very nice. I'm, I'm in love with this cover. Also, the character not being like me, this is about a woman who was recently released from prison. So you'll be happy to know I've never been in prison. Not that there's anything, you know, wrong with that. Anyways, uh, this is about a woman named Tony, and her and her teenage boyfriend were convicted of murdering Tony's sister. 
and they've recently been released from prison and she wants to let it go and move on with her life and the boyfriend won't leave her alone because he wants to uncover what happened that night so this is a thriller it um, fast-paced and thought-provoking a taut psychological thriller that night shows just how fast those closest to us can become brutal enemies and this is another 370 page book what am I doing okay question or not question this is not a tag Challenge number five for book two with on is to read a book entirely outdoors. And I have, I did haul this book for you guys. This is the book that has essays or anecdotes written by well-known authors about depression. And I've started it, but I'm only 14 pages in, so it definitely will qualify as a book um, for book two with on. This is about 290 pages, and the reason that I chose this book to be read outside is because I am not typically someone who reads more than one book at a time. I find that very challenging, and this book being broken up into different essays and stories by different authors, I can be outside reading just one and then put it down and not feel like I need to catch up with anything the next time that I pick it up. Not be distracted from this story by another story and the snowball kind of effect that has. Basically I'm simple minded. So I, <laughs> yeah, we'll read this one entirely outside. Okay, pages. I've been telling you guys how many pages each book has because challenge number seven is to read seven books so I have to read seven books in seven days and with the exception of the one book that I know I have to finish in a day I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off so I did pick a couple of relatively short books to round out my seven um, the first one is Bird Box I've never read this book but I have been wanting to read it for a long time and just, you know, been distracted by other pretty books. This is a 262 page book. And then lastly, I have Life Moves Pretty Fast, the lessons we learned from 80s movies. This is a nonfiction. It is, including the epilogue, it is 304 pages. So I'm hoping that it will be funny and lighthearted nonfiction and it will go by really really fast if it doesn't I'm not gonna get seven books read that's for sure that's my 2017 book tubathon TBR this thick puppy and this thick puppy are going to be challenging reads in seven days along with the 300 page book on my Kindle wait that is seven right one yeah that's seven. I was kind of hoping that I might have accidentally grabbed eight. No, there's seven here. So wish me luck, you guys. And if you want to participate, don't forget to check out that link that's below. It should be a really good time. And if you guys don't hear from me the week of book tube it's because of this. If you've read any of these books, and I know that you guys have, because I've listened to you talk about some of these books, then... Let me know how you think I'm going to fare. If you have any suggestions about how I can conquer that number seven challenge of reading seven books, let's hear them. So I look forward to hearing your book Tubathon TBR list if you're planning to participate. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon if I survive trying to read seven books in seven days. Thank you.